Hey, welcome back to another Axe Cards video on part two of our Battle Arena deck opening. We did the Rayquaza GX a little while ago, and now we are going to do the Ultra Necrozma. So, same kind of deal as the Rayquaza and any other Battle Arena deck. You get a ton of really good cards. Um, trainers. Uh, item cards, we get a couple GX's as well with it. Uh, this year we even get a Prism Star card with each of them. Uh, it just is really good value for your buck. So let's start by looking at the cards you get within. You get the code card as usual. I'm not going to go through the deck mat and stuff like that, but you do get a deck mat as usual. Um, just like the Rayquaza, it's the exact same inserts basically. You get the damage indicator, um, damage markers, and also the GX indicator. Uh, let's take a look at the coin itself, which I always love. So... As far as I am aware of, this is the first Ultra Necrozma coin. I could be wrong, but is that a mark on it? Yeah, it's a mark on it. Love when you get a mark on a coin brand new out the package. Anyway, uh, we do get the Ultra Necrozma, which is kind of like a yellowy, goldy kind of color. Uh, still the same kind of hollow effect as we got on the Rayquaza. This is the Rayquaza here for comparison purposes. Looks kind of cool. Uh, I like the shattered ice kind of hollow effect on these guys. Um, we do get the Prism Star card that comes with this is Beast Energy. The Rayquaza GX set came with a Tapu Koko. It's a Beast Energy. And we do get two copies of Ultra Necrozma from the Forbidden Light expansion. Um, actually, you know what? Let's set up our little display here since it's our Ultra Necrozma deck. I should have done that with the Rayquaza deck. Um, this is the deck box we get. Uh, and it's not really that interesting, uh, the Necrozma, but I guess you're buying it for the cards, not for the deck box design. Um, so we had Lightning Energy Hollows for the Rayquaza deck. This time we have Psychic Energy. So it's going to be five, well, six, sorry, psychic energy reverses. And again, this reverse hollow pattern is pretty sweet. Six. Uh, switch. Oh, we get a Viridian Forest here for this from Team Up. Oh, so that was one of the most expensive rear hollows I've seen in a long time. It's from the Team Up expansion, the Stellar Wish Jirachi. This is a non hollow version. Um, but still, it's still a very pricey card. I'm sure the price will come down now, thanks to this deck, uh, which gives people an easy way of pulling it. Oh, Malamar, that's still a really popular card from Forbidden Light with the Psychic Recharge ability. Um, that's still part of a ton of decks. Cynthia, and we have an Inke, of course. Sights here, so this is the alternate art exclusive for this deck. Uh, we had the Tate and Liza for the Rayquaza deck. This here is what we get in the Ultra Necrozma deck. 189A of 214. So you can only find it here within this deck. And that's a pretty cute looking card uh, for you collectors out there. Giratina, this is again a really expensive card. It goes for around about 10 US now. Well, used to. It'll drop after this deck is released. This is a non holo version of it. It's a rear holo in the set. It's from Lost Thunder. Acrobike, Bennett, Mysterious Treasure, another really popular card. Prox Grit, Dunsparce. Psychic Energy. So it does have a Tate and Liza in the set, but it is not the alternate art version we got in the Rayquaza deck. Lily. Metal Energy. Switch. Escape Board. NK. Pokemon Fan Club. We get a second Malamar. And a second Jirachi, which is great. Uh, Cynthia. Psychic Energy. Uh, a second Sightseer alternate art reprint. Uh, Mysterious Treasure, another non holo Erica's Hospitality. We got that also in the Rayquaza deck. Viridian Forest, Switch, Lily. 
another metal energy acro bikes as well so you have a lot of the same trainer cards but the pokemon cards are different within uh second giratina psychic energy pokemon communication dunsparce mysterious treasure another erica's hospitality and a metal energy pokemon fan club nk bayonet a skateboard then we get a psychic energy a second tate and liza and another malamar i think that's three malamars within yeah so if you're looking to build the deck out or flesh it out for one of these uh pokemon or even the trainer cards it really is worth your money especially for the code cards if you're a fan of playing online to pick up one of these and be able to unlock all of these cards online is pretty awesome that's one of the best things about these battle arena decks yep Loss of Rayquaza. Leave you with a final shot of the two coins. As always, everything here will be up in the store as this video is posted for any of you looking to pick up some of these. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, we got more videos upcoming here in a couple of weeks, and then we have at the end of October the brand new expansion on the way, also. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys with our next video.